What's up friends, family, and everybody else? So today was an amazing day. Now usually when I do Pokemon card hunting, I go to several stores, but today I went to one store and after that I couldn't go anywhere else because I spent too much money. So today I went to my local Walmart and basically I ended up showing up as soon as they happened to be restocking. And there's nothing, there's no feeling quite like walking into a, wall, a Walmart and seeing a bunch of MJ holding co uh, company boxes. So that's what I walked into today, a bunch of boxes, usually my Walmart Walmart gets like only two or three, uh, but today they had over, I think they had at least six of them, at least six boxes, and it was mostly Pokemon, so not much spores, it was mostly Pokemon, and so I ended up grabbing a bunch of stuff today, and let's go ahead and check out what I got. So I got it all set aside right here. So the first thing I picked up is a Zamazenta box, this uh, Elite Trainer Plus box. Um, I recently opened up the Zacian one, so I'm definitely going to be opening up this one pretty soon. Maybe not today, but um, I did pick that up. I also picked up some more Shining Fates, so I got this uh, this this V box right here, the Eldegoss Shining Fates V box, uh, which comes with I think five Shining Fates booster packs. I also got uh, let's see this this tin right here, which is the Empoleon V tin. I did pick up the Tyranitar one already, and I did open that one already. Um, so now I got this one, the Empoleon one. I also got this tin right here, which is a pretty sweet looking tin. I, I hadn't seen this one before, and it's a Eterna, Eternatus V tin, so pretty awesome that they had that. And um, on top of those things, I also picked up another Crimson Invasion ETB. I did open up a couple of these recently. Um, I picked up those other two that I opened also at the same Walmart, but today, uh, they had tons of these for whatever reason and I ended up at first buying two of them So you can see I, I got this one right here. And I got another one right here So at first I only bought two of them I went and I paid for everything and I realized hey that came out cheaper than I expected it to be Looked at my receipt and I realized that these two elite trainer boxes only cost me $22 each so I went back in line and I bought two more so <laughs> Here I got two more of these ETBs and even though I bought four of them, which makes me sound really greedy, but you know, it's such a good price. Um, so, you, I mean, I think that's under $3 per, per booster pack after taxes and stuff. So even though I bought four of them, they actually had, I think like 14 of them. So there was still like 10 left uh, when, once I left and once I bought all the stuff that I bought. So yeah, an amazing day at Walmart. Uh, they also had a bunch of Chilling Rain. So they had some of the ETBs, not too many actually, which was pretty surprising considering they had so many of the Crimson Invasion ETBs. Uh, but they also had a bunch of blister packs and just uh, single booster packs and stuff for Chilling Rain. Uh, for today, obviously I can't open up all those cards. It would be a really, really long video. So let's just pick a couple things. I'm really interested to see what's in this tin. Uh, I, I have already opened the Pikachu one, so I'm assuming it's going to be the same booster packs, but I don't even remember really which booster packs came with that one. So we'll we'll go ahead and open this, and I guess we'll since we're doing a tin, we'll do another tin. We'll do the Empoleon V tin, and then I'll save some of these ETBs and the Shining Fates for later. I've opened uh, some more Shining Fates recently, so I don't feel any need to open more right now. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead. You know what? Let's get let's get started with the Empoleon V one, and then we'll move on to this one. So. Let's go ahead and get this ripped. Sometimes I struggle with the plastic on these things because I am not a smart man. So if I struggle with this one, I'm gonna be doing some fast forwarding. <laughs> Got that open. And let's see, there is that Empoleon V card. Check out that card, pretty nice looking one actually. And here is uh, the code card on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep that in the plastic for now and um, that way later on I can go ahead and sleeve it nicely. Okay, so obviously this is gonna come with battle styles. So we got two battle styles. We have Darkness Ablaze, Sword and Shield. Oh, and a Guardian's Rising. I, You know, I haven't opened too much Guardian's Rising, so it's pretty cool that I got one of those. Uh, we'll go ahead and just start with the battle styles. I'm still missing the Sleeping Tyranitar from battle styles, but uh, the pull rates, at least for me, in my experience, haven't been great with battle styles. So, not expecting to pull that today. That would be awesome if I did, though. I'm also trying to get better at uh, opening the the cards so that we don't actually see what color the code card is yet. <laughs> that way we don't ruin it, because I know if I see that green code card, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. Okay, 
So we got our water energy. We got Tower of Waters, Luxio, Indeedee, uh, Cherubi, uh, Silly Cobra, Galarian Mr. Mime, Bellsprout, Onyx, Crawdont, and we got a Victory Bell. Okay, that must have been a green code card. <laughs> okay, we'll set these cards aside and on to the next Battle Styles Booster Pack. Hopefully we got some better luck with this one. And I just saw the code card actually when I was ripping that open and I think it is a white one. So we should expect something better here. So let's flip this over. Oh, I messed that up. Okay, so here is your code and I'm gonna flip this over and put four cards to the front really quick. And let's see, we got our energy, we got uh, mustard, rapid strike style mustard, more peco, Dublade, Cacnea, Mawile, Spoink, another Galarian Mr. Mime, uh, Scatterbug, oh, a reverse hollow Bolton. I love this Bolton. He just looks really cool and reminds me of my own doggies. And we got a level ball. <laughs> Check that out. I was just talking crap about battle styles pull rates. And here we pulled a gold level ball. This is honestly, obviously I'd prefer getting a Pokemon when it comes to Pokemon cards. But this is just a gorgeous looking card right there. So let's go ahead. You know, let's keep this one out. That's a nice pull for us. I really like the Bolton too. It always reminds me of the Disney Bolt movie. Obviously it's just a reverse hollow, but I'm going to keep it out anyways. So we got three more booster packs from this one, and I think I'm going to save Darkness Ablaze for last. And let's go ahead and do Sword and Shield next. Okay, you know, I don't really know the Sword and Shield, the base set card list all that well. So I'm not sure what my goal card is or my what my chase card is from this set. So we'll go ahead and just rip it open and see what we got. We're not going to worry too much about a chase card. Oh, I just saw there was a Hunter there. There you go, flipping this over and we're gonna put four cards to the front and let's see what we got. We got our Energy, uh, Raboot, uh, Vitality Band, Haunter, Roselia, Muna, or is it Muna, Muna? I've been seeing this Pokemon a lot in Pokemon Go lately, so I think I just barely got enough candy to evolve it. Super exciting for me. <laughs> we got Vulpix, Mencino, Mencino, whatever it's called, Silly Cobra, Clavopus Reverse Hollow, and we got a uh, Corviknight. You know, I don't think I have Corviknight from this set yet, so awesome pull for me. Okay, setting those aside, let's do our Guardians Rising next. And I'm trying to get through these quickly. I am super slow when it comes to opening cards. Um, I don't know why that is, but let's try to move faster today. Okay, so there is your code card. Flip this over, one, two, three, four. And let's see what energy we got. Oh, dude, we're getting the same energy all day today. Uh, enhanced Hammer, Aqua Patch, Mer how do you say that, Marini? Mar Mariani, something like that. Pet Petalil, which we know we saw already. Trubbish, Machop. I actually like this Machop a lot. Look at him showing off his muscles. Alolan Geodude, Mudbray, a Reverse Hollow Tentacool, and we got an, an Alolan Golem. Pretty sweet. Let's keep that one out too. Honestly though, in, in that booster pack, this Tentacool is my favorite because the Reverse Hollow for the water Pokemon in this set is just really cool looking. I mean, let's get a close up of that. Look at all that water in the background. I think that looks pretty sweet. Okay, so that was our Guardians Rising. And our last booster pack from the tin, which is this Darkness Ablaze one, which obviously our chase card is gonna be that Charizard. Um, and we did get a Charizard booster pack, so hopefully that means good luck. Let's see, we're, we're gonna find out right now. Okay. There is your code card. We're gonna flip this over. Oh wow, look at the whiting on this card. That does not look great. <laughs> Fortunately, that's our only one in there that looks like that. So we got our Energy, Cape of Toughness, Powerful Energy, Soul Rock, Skarmory, Cub uh, Chew, <laughs> Wimpod, Bunnelby, Toxel, a Reverse Hollow Combuskin, and let's take a peek. Okay, so we got some sort of V card. We got something nice here. We got a Butterfree V. <laughs> that is awesome. I am a sucker for any of the first 151 Pokemon, and this is one of those. Butterfree. That is a gorgeous looking card right there. Let's get a close up of this one too. Nice. Check out Butterfree. Looking all cute. Okay, we're going to put Butterfree right there. 
move these cards and we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next tin which I'm pretty excited for this one just because I think the card that is it a promo card no it doesn't look like it but uh, this Eternatus V card it looks really cool um, so that's kind of why I was excited to get this one plus all the colors are all purple and black looks pretty gorgeous let's go ahead and rip this open so there's that card Flipping this over so you guys can see the code card. There's that. Okay, setting that aside and let's see. All right. So we have Vivid Voltage, another Vivid Voltage, Rebel Clash, Burning Shadows, and Sun and Moon. So let's start with the Sun and Moon. Um, I think the card that I wanted most from Sun and Moon is the uh, Umbreon, which I've pulled already. So I think all I have left is, wow, you can tell this is an old set because it's just tearing so easily, this 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 wrapper right here. Um, so yeah, I think the only other thing that I want from this set is the Espeon. So I pulled the Umbreon already, just missing the Espeon. So here's your code card. Okay, let's see, wish me luck on this one. So we got our Fighting Energy, Trumbeak, Corsola, Energy Retrieval, Cosmog, Lillipup, Wingle, Snubble, Carvana, we got a Reverse Hollow Charabug, and we got a Toucanin. Nothing too crazy from that one. Uh, that's our Sun and Moon right there. Let's go ahead and move on to Burning Shadows. I think I'm going to save Vivid Voltage for last because from Vivid Voltage, I'm still missing that Chunky Pikachu, that Rainbow Pikachu, which is the card that I am really on the hunt for from Vivid Voltage. Okay, here's your code. One, two, three, four. And let's see, we got lightning energy or electricity energy. I don't know which one it's considered. Uh, Ribombi, Soul Rock, Escape Rope, Sock, Porygon, Caterpie, <laughs> hiding behind flowers, Panpour, Alolan Rattata, a revert. That's a cool looking Seedra. And let's take a little peek. Okay, we got an Electros. That was our Burning Shadows. Next, we got Rebel Clash. All right, Rebel Clash, what do you got for us today? Is it just me or is this a really sad looking Corsola? Okay, there's your code card. Of course, we gotta put four of these to the front. And let's see what, we got our Fire Energy. Uh, I have never pulled this Pokemon before. Lombre, uh, Galarmine, Durant, uh, there's our Corsola, Toxel, Galarian Mr. Mime, Snover, Pidove or Pidove, not sure how to say that one, a Pokeball Reverse Hollow, and we got a Chan, how do you say that one? Chandler. So there we got a Hollow right there. Nice looking card. Let's keep that one out. And we'll move on to our last two booster packs for today, which are going to be these Vivid Voltage booster packs. And hopefully we get that Pikachu. Hopefully we get a Pikachu. I don't think I've pulled a single Pikachu from Vivid Voltage yet. And there's quite a few of them. You know what? Let's start with the other one just because I like Celebi a lot. So we're going to sell, save the Celebi artwork for last. Okay. Wow. All right, here's your code. One, two, three, four. And let's see what we got. We got Water Energy, uh, Mag Cargo, Drone Rotom, Swoobat, Taylau, Yanma, Wooper, Dadine, Dadini, I don't know how to say that one, I always struggle with that one. Pick a pick, a Celebi, <laughs> and that is a gorgeous looking Celebi, and let's see. Take a little peek. Okay, so we got a Shiftry. Nothing too crazy there. But man, this Celebi gar card is gorgeous. It's, look at all, that rainbow color in the background. Honestly, this is probably my favorite pull from today. Even though we pulled that gold level ball, I just really like the background in the Celebi. And like I said, Celebi is a pretty cool looking Pokemon. Of course, I did pull that Butterfree earlier, but take a look at Celebi. That is a nice looking card right there. And honestly, this camera is just not doing it justice right now. Okay, but let's go ahead and put Celebi here. We'll keep it out. And we'll move on to our last booster pack for today, which is of course a Vivid Voltage booster pack, our Celebi one, which we just pulled Celebi. Oh, oh. here's your code. 
One, two, three, four. Wish me luck. There we have our energy. Oh, I pulled the card. <laughs> Go Goats, Wyndham Stadium, Metang, Weedle, Drillbur, Clefairy, Whalemur, Tinamo, Tinamo, or Tinamo, uh, a Reverse Hollow Garbador, and oh no, it is a Dreadnought. And I've pulled so many of these Dreadnoughts. Super disappointing when I see him. <laughs> no offense, you're a pretty cool looking Pokemon, but not what I'm looking for. All right, and that was our last booster pack for today. I think, honestly, I'm having trouble deciding what was my favorite card. I think it's got to be the Celebi, though, because I don't have the Celebi. I mean, this, this Butterfree is really cool looking, too, though. Obviously, that level ball is cool. But, no, I think I'm going to have to go with Celebi. I just really like Celebi, and the card is just a nice-looking card. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Very pretty-looking card. I do like the level ball, of course. It's really nice. It's a gold card, and all the gold cards are pretty sweet. And then, of course, we got this Butterfree, too. And who does not like Butterfree? Butterfree is just a cool, goofy-looking butterfly Pokemon. All right, and that's it. That's all I got for today. Obviously, I'm going to be opening up more Pokemon cards soon because I got a huge stash of it just today. And so, until next time, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.